So here we go with my taping operation. I want to be able to explain to you here. I have uh, some of my drywall. I'm going to be skimming butt joints today. That's the gist of my, uh, my, my I'm going to be here today with. And of course I got my standard uh, golf bag. Uh, it comes showy and it serves its purpose. I have a good base to it so it doesn't flop over. Yeah, I'd like to show you my job that I'm working on here. Bring you on the inside. Um, I just want to give you a quick rundown of um, these are the bands in the valleys. Some people call them valleys, some people call them bands, according to their terminology they're using. And these are always your butts. Uh, and tapers have to deal with their. So when you work in your bands, you, you'll see a slight where the. Oh, sorry. You'll see a strong shoulder that's showing through on a lot of your seams. You'll see it. You'll see it here. Strong shoulder. You'll have a strong shoulder here. And you can see it throughout. What you want there is you just want to cover your seam just enough, but at the same time you want a little build up on that shoulder. And that gives you a perfectly flat surface that you want. Uh, it becomes more noticeable, even more so when you start doing smooth wall. Texture hides a lot of that. Uh, the preliminary, preliminary work to a butt joint um, is, is important. And here I split it with a 10 inch box and I went down the crown with a 12. And uh, it's important that your boxes are set just right. And so this butt joint, as you notice, if I put my trowel up here, this is good enough for a textured wall. But for my demonstration purposes, I'm skimming a butt joint out for you guys. And uh, I can texture this, this is fine for texture purposes. For smooth wall, it's not fine. Uh, so what I'm looking for is this butt joint slightly rocks enough that the light patterns will pick it up when you're doing a smooth wall. Especially after it's painted and it's semi, you're dealing with semi-gloss, you're dealing with a sheen. So these need to be skimmed. So, but if the preliminary work is done right, the skimming goes nice and easy for you. Uh, butt joints are a significant part of any, any project, and tapers take great pride in skimming butt joints. There's an appreciation that's there, and, so, and skill, and, but you always gotta have the accuracy and speed when you're doing this. Um, usually it's a minute of butt joint for a journeyman to skim out a butt joint. I'm gonna dip, I, I can hit them at 30 seconds each. So I mean, so I'm, I'm doing good there in my time. Some of these projects that you encounter, I worked at Fort Wayne right here in Fairbanks, Alaska, an army base, and they had 90 housing units. And each housing unit usually consisted of about 180 sheets to 200, 220 sheets. And one of my assignments was to hit all, skim all the butt joints. And each of those houses had 100 to 120 butt joints per house. So that's a big, that's a, you know, I had three assignments and that was one of my assignments. So here I'm gonna demonstrate a butt joint for you here. And uh, every butt joint has a crown and um, you, you have a build up taped it, you've done your box work, and in doing that, this is sellable, when it's done right, it's sellable for a textured wall. That's, that's sellable for a textured wall. And now I'm demonstrating smooth wall. So here I'm gonna demonstrate smooth wall white right now for you. Um, your lights can pick up, you have lots of light patterns in any project that you do. Um, Lots of light bearing walls. So this needs a skim coat that ends up being about 32 inches wide. And uh, that's typical. And uh, so here we go. So take it down the center, it's the crown. I go down each side, got my scoop. You gotta learn to place it on your trowel just right. Then you're taking it down the crown. And the 
thin mud that you can use with a pot and trowel, it cleans your edges nice and tight. And now you're going to feather. The, the tray consists of speed and accuracy, and this pocket pal has a lot of accuracy built into it. And now I'm going to demonstrate the speed aspect to it, and this is going to be 20 seconds. If you put it on a stopwatch, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this butt joint in 20 seconds. It's going to be proper and it's going to be sellable on any job. <clears throat> so, time will all hit the mud is 20 seconds. Okay, let's get Yeah.